None of that ever did matter to the ten year old boy that I was. You were a hero to me with your grits and sweet tea. And you're the one who taught me to cuss. How you would tell stories of greatness Flying so long missions at night Taking fire from the Germans And giving it back No one cared Born out the light For a man to come back for that war, see the discrimination that was happening in this country. This next song is for that man. It's called Swinging Trees. You were in the Navy and knew what you were fighting for. Prospect of your freedom's lost for work, waging that war. And the boys who died knew sacrifice will not be paid in vain. History books, they've told us so. Their pages are marked with stains. Sometimes I sit and entertain Thoughts of how much things have changed Our democracy is branded and sold on the stock exchange No one's dying for a cause, but they're dying all the same The transgressions have been televised So we can glorify our shame Could be forgotten Cause we're living with this legacy Putting men in singing trees So we're left with a few questions About where to place our faith is it worth allegiance to earthly flags of our entrance at that gate? Or is this really all we have and does it really even matter? Let's tear these statues down to keep the courage of our committed old grandfathers. Oh, we down here where the king is gotten, which always here could be forgotten. Living with this legacy, footed men and swinging trees. Oh, way down here where the king is gotten, I wish old ways here could be forgotten. Cause we're living with this legacy, footed men and swinging trees. We fought a war one time, it was a forgotten war. It was in Korea. September the 15th, 1950. My cousin and I landed on Green Beach. We're 14.
Tennessee was still waiting for me. I could visit my cousin on Shotwell Street. He recovered from the loss of his feet, but he never was the same from the taste of morphine. We didn't know what was waiting for us, but that gold in your veins is one powerful drug. Well, I dragged him back over the lines, but I had no idea he would never survive. We always fight these bloody wars for men who justify the scores, for boys who die on foreign shores, for the power that they are in shore. We always fight these bloody wars for men who justify the proper and nice acoustic guitar, you know? Just break the shit out of it. Oh, yeah, so I'm really happy. Got to come down with Wailing Banshees. I mean, not in the same vehicle, but... Uh, in the same vehicle, it's good. In the same, same spiritual vehicle, man. <laughs> uh, good friends of mine. We're all from Memphis. Um, I love them. And it's uh, it's really cool. I get to be here tonight uh, because I'm going to buy skateboard parts. Um, that's what you do, right? You go to the skate shop and buy skateboard parts. Uh, and I'm really happy that I get to uh, play with Off of Their Heads again because. When they were touring maybe their first or second record, they came through Memphis. And I was in this band called The Drawls. Rock band. And uh, not like underwear drawls, like a southern drawl. <laughs> and uh, you have no many you have no idea how many times I've had to fucking clarify that shit. <laughs> And uh, we had the distinct privilege of getting to play with them. Uh, uh, well, the guys in the band tell me twice. I remember one of them. The first one. The second one is why I don't. Uh, that's, that's why I play sober now. <laughs> uh, the dudes in the band said it was great. They were like, "Oh man, you're fantastic." I'm like, "Cool." I wish I could remember any of that or most of my twenties. Because <laughs> um, I'm still in my twenties. <laughs> so, I got through those three songs, they're fun, I'm not going to beat the shit out of the guitar on this one so much. I don't know if you picked up on it, but that last one was more about how uh, those guys come back from those wars, and everybody's all patriotic about that shit. They get back, and then they got nothing, they're giving nothing, they're not taken care of, treated like shit. A lot of them end up, like the guy in that story, uh, get hooked on some kind of painkillers, or drugs, or heroin, or whatever. And, uh, so I wrote this song uh, the year that uh, my Air Force buddy uh, scored what he thought was heroin. And um, it was, uh, was fucking killed him. But it was also the same year I lost my grandmother. Like, I didn't think I was going to play like happy fun songs. <laughs> like, I just go places and bump people the fuck out. <laughs> My grandmother's name was Joe. So I named this song after her. But it's really about him. That old familiar rattle of the window and the door as my 
I've been practicing to see. I blame myself for everything. Now I got somewhere else to be. Here sits me. Good night, man. I'll see you in the morning. If this rain stops, and I get out of bed. If I'm not ill, if the ground is dry, or if these pills stop raining my Chopping up our steel. Three more nights. Feels like I'm never going home. I'm wasting in this motel by the road. See you when these wounds have all healed. This may be my last day in the field. Thanks. Thank you. I was actually in. Uh, over in Batesville, Mississippi when I wrote that one. Um, for the better part of about 10 years, um, I uh, worked in archaeology and I have a really good friend here tonight who uh, we worked together for years, we're on the road together for years, and when you, when you work with those same people, you see them all day, you're in the same place every night, you become family. Just like being on the road with a band or anything else, you really do, you, you get this, this tight family bond. Um, and so we would just we get off work around three, three thirty. We get back to our hotel. We would drink till about ten or eleven. Pass out. Get up at five thirty in the morning. Do all over again. Um, it wasn't good for our livers, but we had a lot of fun. So this gentleman, Brandon Moore, the goat. He and I were down in Louisiana. Wrote this song.
Williams uh, recently recorded that song with the band, full on production. And uh, we've got that one and the one I opened up with, Uncle Dan, are going to be an A and B side for 7 inch. Um, that I am starting a pre order campaign for next week. And I just dropped a record last night. It's only on my band camp right now because I can't make any money on it any other way. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have any records or anything with me tonight because uh, last week I sold my last one online. And I'm not complaining. It's cool. But you can find everything else either on my band camp or I've got a bunch of stuff on Spotify. Tidal. I like Tidal. That's what I use. Uh, whatever, wherever you stream stuff, YouTube, I don't care. Um, or listen to it. Um, but yeah, that live record that I dropped last night, uh, it's, you know, maybe in a year or so I'll let the streaming services have my soul for it, but right now, fuck it. Man. So I played in punk rock bands for shit, a long time. Uh, 20 something years. And I still write punk songs and, you know, get involved in projects, and recording projects and things like that. Go into guest work. Uh, this is one of the uh, punk rock songs from Alabama Draws. <laughs> Sound, it's my fault. 
<laughs> yeah, so this is maybe, I don't know, one of my top two punk bands. I'm going to do one of their songs. I'll sing along if you know. Father, can you hear me? How have I let you down? Well, I cursed the day that I was born and all the sorrow in this world. Let me take you to the hurting ground where all good men are trampled down. When every living soul could be upright and strong. Well, then I do. It's easy to imagine there will be sorrow, there will be sorrow, and there will be sorrow no more. There will be sorrow, there will be sorrow. Forget half the first verse and I'll just move on. What time we got? What time we got, Brenda? Who? Yeah. Yeah. Called it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do just a few more. Uh, I know we're, I know I, but I know we're all anxious to see off their heads. So earlier I was playing those songs, sort of half truth, half fictional, uh, about the military stuff. I actually joined the military, I was in the Navy, until they figured out I was crazy as fuck. They don't like mental illness in the military, they don't, they don't dig that shit. But it was one of those things, man, like... I'm from a small town in West Tennessee. I didn't grow up in Memphis. And, uh, you know, flunked out of my first year of college. I went back and did shit. But, uh, I felt like I didn't have any options. Man. So, uh, this song's just kind of about that. You know, it's called Teenage Anarchism. And uh, it's, that's, you know, sort of a euphemism for mental illness.
Back at home, things were the same. But everything had changed. It's for the first time in my own life. I felt completely ashamed. I covered up shaking thoughts. Tattoos and I drank a lot. More bad habits to control the frustration I feel in my soul. It wasn't passion for the cause. It's freedom. The bad habits I picked up have only grown. My teenage and I'm getting
Jerry spends his time alone Working on his truck and riding his motorbike Keeps his windows blacked out To avoid the light Lives in fear of his neighborhood. His cameras catch the goings on of the people near his home. He's all alone. Leads a person to live that way To keep suffering in that pain He could have opened his heart to someone once before He's all alone Could have opened his heart to someone once before. He's all alone. It's my last song. Neckties and button downs and combing my hair. Keeping up appearances and sitting. Polishing shoes and trimming my beard Fixing up broken toys and holding back tears Fooling myself again Knowing it's all just pretend Off with their heads is up next, y'all.